All right, I have a surprise for you guys. Are you ready? Surprise! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you don't know already. My name is Elena. I did switch up my hair if you guys can't tell. I mean, I'm sure you can. I finally got rid of the blonde. I feel like Maddie and I have been wanting to do this color for so freaking long and we finally did it. Let me know what you guys think about my hair down below and also while you're at it, follow my girl Maddie. I'm gonna put her Instagram right here. I am actually helping her run her beauty page. So if you guys wanna keep up with that, definitely please do. Please and thank you. She literally killed it. This is exactly what I wanted. And I've been getting so many compliments. You guys are obsessed over on Instagram as much as me. And Halloween is right around the corner. So I feel like it's perfect timing. It's giving very fall. It's perfect time of year to go ginger, you know, orangey kind of vibes. But yeah, me and my best friend Alondra, we were Chucky and Chucky's bride. Tiffany and we looked so fucking good if you haven't checked that out on my Instagram go check that shit out I swear to god y'all we killed that shit but enough raving about my hair I actually wanted to just have a real talk with you guys today I'm not smoking I know that's kind of weird but it has a lot to do with what we're going to be talking about I had therapy earlier today so I actually have a lot of stuff on my mind but I know that the last video was definitely a downer and all your guys' responses have meant so much to me and again i'm really embarrassed that that's even a story that i had to tell but today's video is going to be more about moving forward where i'm at with you know mental health and all of that so like i said in this video i'm obviously not smoking which is very different from my usual content to be honest with you guys i haven't really been smoking for the last few days just because I've come to the realization that I am addicted to smoking weed. Um, I know a lot of people are like, you can't get addicted, this, this, and that, but you totally can. I'm just trying to be self-aware because obviously I love smoking marijuana and I love creating content smoking with you guys, but at the same time, I also have to be real in my own journey. and. Where I'm at right now in my relationship with marijuana is just really not healthy. It's honestly super hard for me to admit that I've been abusing my relationship with marijuana, but it's the truth. I really feel like ever since my mom passed, my relationship with marijuana has become very dependent with my anxiety and my depression and my grief. And it's really, really, really making a lot more sense now that I'm coming out of that grief how you know toxic my relationship with it has become i'm all for smoking marijuana and i don't plan on actually stopping for good but i do really want to work on my relationship and my dependence on it and in order for me to do that i have to be real with myself and i have to be real with you guys and i'm just not feeling my best i came to this conclusion because i felt like a lot of my time was being wasted smoking i was waking up thinking about smoking i was smoking literally all the time all day you know all the time um my days felt like they were meshing together i just felt like i wasn't doing anything you know there's a difference between smoking to smoke every now and then and then smoking to cope and i feel like i was really smoking to cope and it bothers me that that's where I've come with this. Another part of this that I don't really talk about a lot, but addiction, addiction runs so deep in my family um, to the point where I will never put myself in a position to even try another drug because I'm scared that I could possibly become addicted. That's how much addiction runs in my family. The fact that I really can't say that I've been sober the last 10 or so years really does bother me coming to this realization and saying it out loud and having these conversations with people around me i've come to find that a lot of people feel the same way and they just don't know what to do about it and for me what i want to do is really take a step back i really just want to get back to a place where marijuana was something that i did socially also when i would create but nowadays i'm just smoking to smoke i'm not writing i'm not creating content for you guys I'm not doing any of that shit. 
I know that putting this out there, I feel like a lot of people are going to like try to use this against me, but I don't really care. I feel like the judgment is always going to be there, especially when it, you know, involves marijuana. Everybody has their own beliefs with smoking and whether they think it's right or wrong. Um, but really, I just wanted to be honest with you guys. With not smoking and not smoking as much, a lot of anxiety has been coming up, which is why I'm really making it a point to stay, you know, caught up with my therapy and being open in my therapy sessions as well. A lot of people will go to therapy, but they're not even being honest, not honest with the therapist, not honest with themselves. So it's like, what are you really expecting to get from it, right? But for me, I really do like to be brutally honest even if it's things that i don't want to admit or things that i you know just have been trying to avoid um and a lot of you guys are always asking me how i deal with my anxiety and my depression and again really doing that self-work really doing that self-awareness and having that going to therapy talking to my people you know checking myself where i need to be checked and also recognizing when my mental health isn't doing so well. And like I said, I felt like it wasn't and I really needed to make some changes in my life and that has brought me here. I was telling my therapist, I really feel like I'm in this rebirth stage of my life where not only is my hair changing, but everything else is. And it's not a bad thing, it's just with that change and I know I've talked about this so many times on my channel, is I literally suck at dealing with change. I suck at dealing with transition and I know that, but I'm also not afraid of it anymore. Like where me and my son are literally matching. I really look like his biological mom now. This is my emotional support animal, but he's gonna go. As I was saying is I'm not afraid of the change anymore. And I'm very motivated to do the work. That in itself is already a step forward. And I'm really focusing on shifting from the past and trauma to the future and moving forward. And my therapist is really helping me with that as well. But if I'm being real with you guys, I did have this moment where I kind of like broke down because I had, again, another realization that although I'm doing all this work and although I'm very self-aware and I'm really practicing you know, breaking these cycles, it doesn't mean that the people around me are also doing those things. And sometimes when you are healing and you are this light, and this is kind of like what I was telling her, is like, I feel like I've come out of this darkness and I've made it a point for me to be a light in this world and to talk about real shit and to be relatable and to be genuine and real and authentic with you guys but sometimes people can't reciprocate that and i think i've just been struggling with that with just everything that's been going on in my life with you know shitty family shitty men shitty friends and again just feeling like i understand people are hurt and i understand people are in their own healing phases but I'm kind of over people hurting me because they're hurt. I'm done dealing with other people's traumas and inability to do their own work so they take it out on me. And I've really distanced myself from a lot of people in my life who are doing that to me. And I feel like where I'm going now is going into spaces where I feel safe, where I feel heard, where I feel seen, and where I feel like I don't need to explain myself. Sorry if you guys can hear the helicopter, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys because I'm always self-reflecting and I'm very self-aware and I just feel like we're all going through these weird transitions in life and, you know, feeling like we don't relate to people anymore, feeling like we don't, we're not necessarily who we used to be or, you know, just coming to terms with the fact that I want more. I want to be more and in order to do that I have to do the work and this is a part of it. I really don't want this video to be all like sad or anything. I really just wanted to share with you guys where I'm at in my mental health and in my journey and in my growth and all of that because I feel like a lot of you guys are probably feeling the same way, feeling stuck, feeling, you know, 
a little lost um but that's okay that's normal and i really just wanted to check in on you guys as well ask you guys how you've been what have you been up to i want to have like a mental health check in in the comments because i feel like it's important for us to check in on our people make sure we're all doing good and also just being honest is important as well i will be keeping you guys updated on my journey with finding that balance with you know me my life my passions marijuana and all of that but for now i really just don't want to put any pressure on it well that's all i kind of had to say i really just wanted to come on here and show you guys my new hair and kind of let you guys know where i'm at as well up here but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys support me and rock with me and I appreciate you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Love ya. Bye.